Hey guys, it's TGH7903, and I thought I would do a phone collection video because I haven't done one in a long time. It, it, this is just going to be my smartphones. I already did my dumb phones in another video. If you saw that video, which you probably did. But anyway, yeah. So this is going to be my smartphones. Smartphone collection of April, I think, 26th of 2024. But yeah. So, yeah, let's get into it. Starting off with my Galaxies. I got my S1. Um, this phone does work perfectly fine. It's on T-Mobile. Other, The only thing that is wrong with it, actually, it doesn't work perfectly fine. Why did I say that? The only thing wrong with it is that the home button does not work, but otherwise this thing works fine. Next up, we got my S2 on. It's unlocked, so this thing works perfectly fine. These, Oh, yeah, all of these also have the actual home button it's not like the variants that don't have the home button they all have the home button because i kind of like that but yeah this is a, a samsung galaxy s3 on sprint this thing works fine no issues works perfectly fine this is a galaxy s4 on verizon it has a screen protector and the case and everything and i i, I love this color on it too this thing works perfectly fine then I got this S5 on Verizon. This thing is in like mint. As you can see, it still has a charging charging flap, which is pretty amazing. This thing works perfectly fine. I like that. This is my Samsung Galaxy S6 on Ver on. It's actually on US Cellular. Um, this thing works perfectly fine. Um. It has a serum protector and a case, and it's it work. It's in really really good shape. It's probably about mint. Then I have this Galaxy S7 on um, Verizon. This thing is cracked, but other than that, it works perfectly fine. Then I have this S8 on AT and T. This thing is cracked, but other than that, this thing works perfectly fine also. Then I got this S9 on T-Mobile. This thing works works perfectly fine. It's in like mint condition. And then I have the, this S10 also on T-Mobile. This thing's in a nice blue color. This thing's in really good shape too. But yeah, this thing works perfectly fine too. So yeah. Okay, so I just got all my Samsungs right here. I'm just gonna upset all the phones on the floor because I can't fit them all on the floor at the same time. So I'm just gonna, for the Samsung, LG, Motorola, and Apple, I'm just gonna, you know, take them out and put each one back so yeah i'm just gonna make it uh, i can't fit all my phones on my floor so yeah so starting off we have this um samsung galaxy or samsung gravity smart this is a pretty nice phone this thing works come on phone what the heck are you doing bro come on what is this doing i don't know what the heck is this stupid phone doing? There we go. Anyway, we got my Samsung Moment on Sprint. This thing works perfectly fine. And yeah, this is like one of the first phones I got from eBay. If my thing will focus on it. But yeah, this thing is pretty nice. Works fine. I like that. This is what, like one of my favorite older phones probably. Like one of my favorite old smartphones. Then we got the Samsung. Um, got the Samsung G Galaxy Gem. This thing is very scratched up. That is ba that's basically my fault. I kind of scratched it up. I regret it now, but it's on US Hater. Um, yeah, this thing is pretty cool. But yeah, that works fine. Then I got the Samsung Acclaim. Um, on USA there, my mom and my parents actually had some of these. My mom's, I, hers might still be working. I'm not sure, but I don't know where it is, but I hope to find it one day. But I just got, I just got one because I wanted one, so. Yeah. Then we got my Samsung, um, inter Samsung Intercept. Works perfectly fine. It's on Sprint. Then we got my Samsung Transform. This is a really cool phone because it flipped open like this. So that's pretty cool. Then we got my Sam then we got the Samsung Galaxy S Fascinate 
on your Seder. This thing's pretty cool. But yeah. Works fine. This thing is uh, some kind of Samsung Galaxy. I, it's some kind of S1. I don't know. This thing is... Yeah. This thing works. Then I got this S2 Skyrocket on T-Mobile. I think this thing is on a, some kind of... I think this thing's on a Saiyajin mod, actually. But yeah. This thing is modded. So it's modded to Android 4. But... Yeah, and then this thing, why I don't know why this thing's here. This thing is not in order, but it doesn't really matter. This is a Samsung Galaxy A02, I think. I think I got this from a flea market. Yeah, this thing is, I think this thing might be unlocked. I don't remember. Maybe it's on track phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy J7 Perfects, I think. I don't know. It's a really nice phone, though. I like it quite a bit. Then we got my Samsung Galaxy S Aviator. I used to actually have three of these, if you remember. But I actually got rid of the other two because I don't need three. Uh, same with, there's one other phone. I think it's some Pantech phone that I used to have three of. But I got rid of the two of them. So now I only have one. But yeah, this thing is a pretty nice phone. It's on US Sater. This is a Samsung Galaxy Victory. This is a pretty nice phone. Um, it's pretty beat up though, but it's fine. It works. This is a Samsung Galaxy, some kind of guy. I don't remember what, I don't actually remember what this is, but it's a cool phone. It's on Sprint. This is a Samsung Galaxy, this is a Samsung Dart on T-Mobile. This thing does work. I think it has battery actually, maybe it does. But yeah, this thing does work. I've actually been winning one of these for a long, long time, so. That's pretty cool. This thing is a Samsung Galaxy... I don't even know. I think it's a Stratosphere, maybe? It's on Verizon. It does work, but it does not have a battery in it. This is a Samsung Galaxy S Continuum. This thing's pretty cool because it's a big screen, and then it has a little screen down here, so it's pretty cool. This is a Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini. It's pretty cool. It does work. I have the S3 Mini, S4, and S5 Mini, so I have all the minis. This is a Samsung Galaxy S3 in white. This thing does work. It's on Verizon. I just wanted an S3 in white, so I guess I just got one. I, it's not really a reason to why I got it. I just wanted an S3 in white. But anyway, or there's not really a good reason, I should say. There was a reason, but yeah. This is a Gal Samsung Galaxy Note 3 on T-Mobile. This thing does work uh, perfectly fine. It's pretty kind of scratched. But yeah, it works fine. It's just a nice leather back, which is kind of cool. Then we got this Samsung Galaxy J3. This thing works fine. I think there's like one issue, but it might have burn in. I don't remember. But yeah, there's something. I don't know. This is another Note 3 on T-Mobile. This thing works perfectly fine. In this nice flip view case. Then we got this um, Samsung. This is another A02 on you on. This one's on US Sater though. This one is cracked, but other than that, it works fine. This is an S4 on US Sater. This thing works fine. This is actually my original S4. I've replaced. I've replaced the screen in the back, so it actually is a genuine back now. It has a genuine US Sater back, and it has a really nice, it has a good screen, so that's pretty cool. It's actually glass, not plastic. <laughs> so that's nice. Then I have the Samsung Galaxy um, Centura. Uh, it has it's the it has a Cricut back, but it is a Centura. I don't know why it is a Cricut back, but it works fine. Then we got this S6 Edge. This thing does work perfectly fine despite the screen. Uh, this thing is on Sprint, I think, I believe. Yeah, that's a nice phone. I like it. Then we, I might get another one, maybe. I don't know. But then we got um, a Galaxy S8 Plus. I got it for like 25 bucks on eBay, which was a really good deal. So I just, that's why I got it. It is scratched, but it's on AT&T, by the way, if I didn't say that. But yeah, it's a pretty nice phone. Then we got this um, Note 4. Works fine. Then we got my Galaxy... Then we got my Samsung Galaxy Flip 3. Works fine. Then we got my um, 
Galaxy Core Prime works fine. It's on T-Mobile. This thing is on... I think this thing is unlocked. Yeah, I, I better kind of speed this video up. It's already 10 minutes and I just know my Samsungs. This is a Samsung Galaxy... I don't even remember, but it's some old person phone on Great Call. It works. This is a, some kind of J7 that works. It's cracked, but it works. It's on. I, I don't remember. I don't remember what it's on. This is a, um, this is another J3 Achieve. This one's on track phone, I believe, but it wor it works fine. This is an S5 Mini on USA. This thing is my one and only target bin find. This thing works fine, works perfectly fine. It's in like mint. This is a Galaxy J. This is a Samsung Galaxy Luna. I got it from Black Friday a long time ago. Like 2017, something like that. This is a Gal this is a Samsung Galaxy A54. I actually just recently got this thing. This thing does work fine. It's on Xfinity Wireless. I want to get a new case for it though. I don't like the case that it came with. I'm actually getting a case for it. I think it should come either today or tomorrow. This is one of my this is one of my Samsung Nexuses. This is I have one on Android 2 and Android 4. They both work fine. But yeah, I don't know what one this is, but yeah, I have two of them. Uh, yeah, it's the other one's right here. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 on at and It works perfectly fine. It's pretty thick phone though, but yeah. This is a, somewhat, a Samsung Galaxy A something. It's a S2115 DL. I don't know what that means, but sure. It's It, it, it works fine. This is a Samsung Galaxy S8 on um, Xfinity, I think. And this thing's in silver. It's pretty nice other than the burn-in, and it is cracked. This is a Samsung Galaxy A14. This thing is on track foam. It works fine. This thing is a Samsung Galaxy S Avent or whatever. It works fine. I used to have two of them, but I got rid of one. I know, I don't think I got rid of it. I think I'm still wanting to sell it. I just haven't got around to it because, yeah. This is a Samsung Galaxy S6. Uh, I think this thing's on Sprint. This thing works fine. Works. This thing's on, like, Mint other than this crack right here. This is the other Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Um, it works fine. This is a Samsung Galaxy... This is some kind of Samsung Galaxy S2. It's in def I don't think it's an American version. It actually has an antenna. If you want to see. It actually has an antenna, an extended antenna, which is kind of interesting. This is an S4 Active. Works fine. It's on at and This is a Samsung Galaxy J1. I got it from a clearance sale at Walmart in 2018 or something like that. This is another. This is an S3 on Verizon that's black. It's a pretty nice phone. I used to have one of these actually, but I destroyed it accidentally in like back in like 2018. I had one and I'm like, dang, I want another one of these. It's kind of nostalgic, but yeah. This is a Samsung Galaxy S Aviator. I guess I had two. I thought I got rid of both of them, but I guess I have two. I must have just got rid of one. But yeah, this one works fine too. This is my Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini that works fine. It's unlocked. And then this is just a dummy Centura phone that I have. But yeah, that is my Samsung phones. And now let's move on to my LG phones, which are actually right there. Okay, I got all my LGs out now. This is all my LGs. But yeah, um, so let's start with that. So first up we got, this is a Sam, this is an LG Sunrise. Works perfectly fine. There's no back, but it works fine other than that. Next up we got an LG Stylo 2. Works fine. It's on Cricut. Then we got an LG, I think this is an LG Realm, works fine. It's on Boost Mobile, actually. Then we got an LG, we got an LG, some kind of LG in like mint condition. It works fine. I think it's on Boost, I don't remember. Then we got this LG something, it's a Metro PCS unit. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty cool, pretty tiny. Then we got an LG, I, I love this phone. We got an, one of my LG... G2s on Sprint. 
Um, I have the Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T one. I have all of them because I love this phone so much. This is like one of my favorite phones of all time, honestly. Um, but yeah, I love this phone. This thing works perfectly fine. Then we got my LG G Flex 2. This thing works perfectly fine. It's on... I don't remember. Then we got my LG Lucid on Verizon. Works fine. I have all three of those. And then we got one of my LG Vortexes on Verizon. Works fine. We got my LG G6 on Sprint. Works fine. We got my LG um, Optimus U on US Seder. Works fine. We got my LG K4 on Verizon. Works fine. And then we got my LG um, X Style on track phone. Works fine. But I don't think there's a battery in it right now. Maybe there is. I think it's just dead. Then we got my... This is a really nice phone. We got my LG... Uh, I don't even remember what this is actually, but it's a really, really nice phone. It has a glass back. Really nice phone. This is, I know, this, I think this is like a K30. This thing's a micro USB Type C, and it, it is a really nice phone. I got it from a lot. That's a, this is actually the only, I got it from a lot, and this is, phone is the only reason I bought that lot, is because this phone was like perfect, and then every other phone kind of was in horrible shape, but. Yeah, this was the only reason I bought that lot. It was like a lot of four phones or something. Then I got this. This is this is one of my two LG Lucid 2s. Works fine on Verizon. This is my LG Lucid 3 on Verizon. It works fine. This is my LG Volt on Sprint. This thing works fine. This is my LG Optimus T on T-Mobile. It works fine. This is my LG... Um, it's, it's some kind of, I don't even remember. Maybe the back will tell me. Oh, it's a V40 ThinQ. It's on Sprint, I think. Maybe it's on Verizon. It might be on Verizon, actually. No, it's on T-Mobile, I think. But yeah, this thing works really good. Works, works fine. Then we got one of my LG Sunrises. This thing also works fine. It's on track phone. Then we got my LG G3, uh, this thing's unlocked, works fine. Then we got my LG um, Lucid 2 on Verizon, this thing works fine. Then we got my LG, uh, I think it's like a Fiesta, it's on track phone, it works fine. The only thing is there's no SIM card thing. Then we got an LG Optimus S on Sprint. We got, I have two of these things. I love this phone too. Then we got an LG Vortex on Verizon. Then we got an LG, um, we got an LG Leon on Metro PCS. Works fine. Then we got another LG Sunrise on track phone. It also works fine. Then we got a, an LG Escape on at t Works fine. Then we got another LG Sunrise. I know I have a bunch of those. I didn't realize I had so many. But yeah, we got another one that's kind of scratched up. This one actually was my brother's. This one's also on track phone. I actually... I have one that I actually bought, like, at Walmart when they had them. But I don't know where it is. I lost it, like, five, six years ago. Um, then I got this LG Stylo, LG Stylo, this one works fine, I don't, I think it's all on Cricut. Then we got this LG X Power on US Sailor, this thing works perfectly fine, other than this crack right here. Then we got an, then we got the at t version of my LG G2, I love this thing, this thing is actually stuck on Android 4, not this one specifically I love, but I just, I'm saying I love the phone. This thing is stuck, th this phone specifically though is stuck on Android 4, I try, I've tried to update it, but I just can't, I don't know why, it just will not update. And then we got, um, we got my LG G4 on... Uh, I think this thing's unlocked, but I don't like turning it on because I don't want it to boot loop. Then we got my LG Optimus 
something. We got some kind of LG Optimus on Metro PCS. LG Optimus M. Yeah, it makes sense. Then we got my LG... Um, this is my LG K3 2017. I actually have the box for this one. It's in, like, perfect shape. Then we got this LG G Vista on AT&T. Worked perfectly fine. Then we got this LG Astro. It is cracked, but it works fine. Then we got this LG... We got the LG uh, Rebel 2. This I actually main this phone for a bit. I have the instructions and everything for it. This thing is pretty in pretty rough shape, though. It's pretty scratched, but it's a pretty nice phone, so yeah. That's probably one of my nicer, cheap phones, I guess. I don't know. This is my LG Optimus M Plus on Metro. This thing works fine. I actually used to have one, but it just did not work at all. And then I got one that did work because I wanted one that worked. Then we got this LG, I don't know, I think this is a Phoenix 3 or something. This thing's on at and it works fine. Then we got an LG Optimus V on Virgin Mobile. This thing works perfectly fine. Then we got, this is like, I think this might be an LG Realm actually. This thing is on track phone, works fine. Then we got this LG G2 on Verizon. This thing works fine. Works perfectly fine. Then we got this LG Dynamic, I think. Optimus Dynamic. This thing's in horrible shape. I bought it for like 11 bucks off eBay. I don't know why I bought it. I just bought it for some reason. This was kind of like one of those impulse purchases. I just bought it because I, I just bought it to buy it. I don't know why I bought it. Like, I don't even know why I have this, but I have it. So, whatever. This thing's a piece of crap, though. But it works fine. This is my this is an LG Optimus Stylo 5, I think. This thing works fine other than it being cracked. It works perfectly fine. This is some kind of LG phone that works fine. I don't know what it is, but it works perfectly fine. It has a nice case too, I guess. This is an LG Optimus Fuel. Um I kind of bought this cuz I wanted one too. I wanted an LG phone with a glowing home button for the longest time. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. So I got a couple but yeah, I'm kind of glad I did buy a couple. But yeah, I have it. Then I have this LG Ally. This thing works perfectly fine, I think. Although there's kind of an issue with the batteries and stuff. I have, I used to have like a bunch of these and they all had issues with the batteries. So who knows, maybe that's just a thing with these phones. I don't know. This is an LG Nexus 4. This thing is on, this thing is modded to Android 8 though. This thing's in pretty beat up shape, but it works per it works perfectly fine, I think. It's modded to Android 8. It works fine on that. It works fine on, for Android 8, but like I don't know if it, I I don't know on its uh, original OS how good it would work. I guess this is a uh, LG Leon on Metro. This thing works fine. And then we got a LG Optimus, or we got a LG G5 on Verizon. This thing works perfectly fine. And though these are not cracks, they're just kind of there. It's just kind of got some crap residue on it. It works fine though. Then we got an then we got an LG Treasure. I think I don't. I think it's on Boost. It works fine. And then last but not least, for my LGs, we got a LG LG. Optim or LG G2 on T-Mobile. This thing works perfectly fine. And yeah, that's my LGs. That I did that a lot faster than I did my Samsungs because I actually like yeah. I didn't talk as much about the individual phones as, as I did with my Samsungs. So yeah. So yeah, now on to my Motorola's. Okay. So I did pan the camera a little, a little closer to my phones because I don't have as many Motorola's. So yeah, you could see a big jump from LG's to Motorola's. I don't have near as many Motorola's. My two biggest groups are Samsung and LG. And yeah, those are my two biggest groups. So everything else is going to be either this size or smaller from now on. But yeah, um... But yeah, let's get started on Motorola's. I have, I have some pretty nice Motorola's also 
for all the motor for as many i have i have some pretty nice for as many as i do have I have some pretty nice ones but anyway this is a motorola citrus on verizon this actually was one of the first ones to have a fingerprint scanner which was kind of cool so i kind of was like okay i i kind of want this phone but yeah this thing works perfectly fine but yeah um this is a motorola i don't even remember I don't remember what this is. It's some kind of Motorola phone, but it's on Republic Wireless, I think. But yeah, this is a Motorola Droid on Verizon. This thing works perfectly fine. I'm kind of happy that I have a Droid because the Droid's pretty cool. It's a tough phone too. It's made of metal, unlike all these newer phones which are kind of just crappy plastic. This is a well-built phone though. I have this Moto X. This was actually my mom's. This Moto X is this Moto X is pretty cool. I like this phone because this phone I've had I had it since I don't remember when I got it, like 2016. Um, this was kind of my main phone in like 2016. This was pretty cool phone, so it's pretty. I kind I I want to keep it. I'm keeping that phone. I like that one. Um, this thing is um. Motorola Droid Mini on Verizon. I thought this thing was broken, but it actually does work. I actually got two. I got this one and another Droid Mini. The other one didn't really work. It was in horrible shape. This one did. It actually came with this spec case, which is kind of nice, but it's broken. So there's that. Then we got this one of my two Motorola Droid Maxes on Verizon. This thing works fine. Then we got my, this is actually my Moto X2. This is a really nice phone too. This thing works fine. I think it's probably dead right now, but it's not. But yeah, this thing works fine. This thing is a Motorola Admiral, I think. But yeah, this thing works fine. It's probably dead. Oh, it's not actually. That's kind of cool. This is, uh, yeah, I should also turn some of my phones on. This is a Moto, this is a Moto E. This is a Moto G first generation. I got. I actually got this thing with the. This thing's dead, but I actually got this thing with these Motorola. So I got this lot of two Moto Droid Minis, and I didn't. Add, this was kind of a surprise phone. I didn't know I was getting it. It just showed the Moto Droid Minis, so this was kind of a surprise. I did not know I was getting that. This is a Moto. This is a Moto X. This is some kind of Moto Droid, actually. I don't remember what it is, but it has burn in. So there's that. Yeah, that thing's on Sprint. This is a Motorola, this is a Moto Razor HD on Verizon. This thing's pretty nice. It works. This is actually a Moto X Developer Edition. This is actually a Moto X Developer Developer Edition. I got it for like 10 bucks off eBay. I think it was like 11 or 12 actually. But I kind of saw it and I'm like, I have to get that. That is so cool. But yeah, it's in really good shape and it does work. It works fine. I, yeah, it has this warning boot looter unlock thing. I don't know because it's a developer edition, so it does have that. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway, then we got this um, whatever. Then we got this Moto Droid Max on Verizon. This thing does work fine. But yeah, see, this is just booting up like normal. It just has a bootloader thing. I think this thing might have some screen burn in, actually. It does. This thing is a Motorola... This is a Moto E6 on Verizon. This thing does work fine. But it's dead. This is a Motorola Moto... Um, This is like a Moto... Moto X player, Moto E player something, I don't know, but I got this from a garage sale for like 25 bucks, but yeah. This is a Motorola Moto E, actually this is a Moto X4, it is not the Google version, I have the Google version which is actually right here, but this is not the Google one. This thing works fine except the power, the volume down rocker is actually broken, so it does not work. Or the phone works, but that doesn't work. The volume down rocker. But that's the only issue. This is a Moto Z. This is a really nice phone. It has a JBL speaker on the back, as you can see. Because I bought it. Cause I th and it's pretty cool. I got this from a garage sale. 
This is a Moto Nexus 6 on Verizon. This thing does work fine. This thing is pretty cool. And yeah, it's dead though. This thing is a Moto this thing is a Moto Droid second generation. This thing works fine. Oh, it is the password thing. Okay. Here we go. This is a Moto E. No, this is not a Moto E. This is a Moto Electrify on US Sailor. This thing, my dad actually had one of these, which is cool. Also, isn't that just a cool starting? I just think this is a really cool starting sound. Sound. I just think this animation is really cool when it starts up. Also, the screen on this phone is super good. I like this phone a lot. But yeah, this phone has a kickstand, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> but yeah, this thing does work fine. I got it for like 50 cents from a garage sale, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, this, that phone works fine though. Uh, other than like the corners, it does have a little, it does have like some LCD damage in like the corners and on the screen it has a little, but other than that, it works fine. This thing is a Moto, some kind of Moto E. This thing works fine. Got it from eBay for like 20 bucks. I kind of regret my purchase, but yeah. This is uh this is a Mo the Moto X4, but it is the Android One version, so it is the Google one. So that's kind of cool. That's the Google one. I actually had two, but I am getting rid of one because I actually swapped the back. The back to this was cracked, but I but I actually swapped the back because this one is just in better shape. This is a Moto. This is some kind of Moto E2 or something. Um, it's on Verizon. It does work. This is a Moto. This is a Motorola. It's some kind of Motorola phone. This thing works too, but I think it's dead. This thing is a Moto E, second generation. I think this one is on Republic Wireless. I have two of them. Speaking of that, I think the other one's right here. Well, no, this is the Moto E first generation. This one's on track phone. I bought this brand new in like 2016 or whatever it came out. This thing is a Moto E second generation. This one, this is the, this one's on Republic Wireless. I have two of these. This one's on Republic and then the other one I think is just unlocked. I don't know where it is though. This is a Motorola Electrify M on US Sater. This thing works pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it's dead. I've, this, this is another one of those phones that I may, that I, had is like kind of my main device for a long time. This thing, I I got this thing in like 2016, kind of around the. I think I got it like right before the Moto X or maybe after. I think I actually had it when I had the Moto X. I had this is like my secondary thing, I guess. But anyway, this is a Moto. This is a Moto E seventh gen or something. But yeah, this thing does work. It is cracked right here, as you can see. But yeah, other than that, it works. I think it might have some other LCD damage too, but yeah. This is a Moto Electrify 2 actually on US Sailor. This thing does work. Um, but yeah, it's dead. Hello, Moto. This is a Moto X. My third one. This one is just a regular one. It's on US Sailor. This actually was my dad's. Um, this thing is cracked because my brother actually had it. And then he gave it to my sister. And then my sister gave it to me. But anyway, but yeah, when he had, when my brother had this phone, he was like seven or whatever, and he dropped it on a corner and it cracked. But yeah, this is my other Moto E I was talking about. This thing has no bezel. This thing has no bezel. Actually, it did, but I think I gave the bezel to this phone. Um, This thing is unlocked, but it works other than that. This thing is a Moto C. Um, this thing, I'm pretty sure this phone is foreign because I cannot find anything really on this phone. I have found a battery, although the battery replacement was like 14 bucks, so it was quite a lot for a battery. But yeah, but yeah, this thing works fine. I do. I have not found a back yet, but yeah, yeah. This thing I think is foreign, definitely, because yeah, this is a Moto C. Also, 
if I didn't say that, I probably did. This is a Moto Droid. This is like some kind of Moto Droid or something too. This thing is cracked, but it works fine. This thing is a Mo. This thing is a Moto Style. This thing is a Moto Stylus 2022, I think. This thing works perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, this thing's a pretty cool phone. I think it powers on. I'll, I don't know. Yeah, there's that. It's pretty cool. This is a Motorola Moto. This is like a Moto G7 Power. This thing is really nice. Um, yeah, this thing works perfectly fine. This thing had a screen protector on it, but I think I took it off because I didn't like it because it was super cracked and terrible. So I took it off. This is a Motorola. This is my other Moto Droid Max or whatever. This thing also works. This thing is my a Motorola. Is this like a Moto G6 or something? But yeah, this thing also works. Dang, that was loud. Anyway, this is a Motorola. I don't remember what this is. Yeah, this thing works fine. This thing works perfectly fine. Let's see if I can power it on. I probably can't, but yeah, this thing works perfectly fine. Surprisingly, it's a Moto Blur phone. This thing, not so much. This is a Motorola backflip, I think, or something. This thing, it's really cool, but it has a Moto Blur account, and I can't use that anymore, really. So this thing does not work, because this thing is account locked. Although this one works, because this one's not, but yeah. But yeah, that's all my Motorola's, and I will go on to my Apple devices now. And, Yeah. And then I got my Apple stuff. I don't have near as much as of Apple stuff as I do as other things. So yeah. And also, um, I'm so I'm all I'm, so with that. I'm also going to include iPods and stuff too. Like I'm going to include all my iPods and stuff because I don't have as many actual iPhones as other things or as the other three groups. So yeah, let's get into that. Starting off with this iPhone. I have an iPhone 3. I don't know if this is the 3 or the 3GS. I don't really know how you can tell. But yeah, this thing works fine. It's probably dead right now, but it works fine. Then I got a bunch of iPhone 4s. This one is very cracked, but it works. This one's very... This one, I think... Had, I, I don't think this the, the home button works on this one, but it works. This is my first one. This is an iPhone 4S. This thing does work. It's in really good shape. This thing, this one works. Um, but yeah, I. This is just a four. But yeah, this thing works. I don't know. I don't know if this one has any problems. I guess. This is iPhone 4 in black. It works fine. This is an iPhone 4 in black. This thing's actually on Android, iOS. Four, I think. I don't know. It's on an old version. This is an iPhone 4. This thing is cracked, but it works. This thing is an iPhone 5, actually. This um, this one's kind of a mismatch because I had two iPhone 5s, but I took this good... So the, the white one had a good screen and the black one had a good internals on the back. So I took the back and the internals and put it on the screen and now I have a perfectly working iPhone 5. Although it is kind of mismatched, it still works fine. Then I have this iPhone 5S. This thing works. This thing's in like mint. This thing is really nice. Then I have a, then I have a 5, 5C. This thing works fine. Then I have this iPhone CE. This thing works fine. I think there is a little screen damage though, but other than that, it works perfectly fine. This is my an, another iPhone 5, 5C. This thing actually does not work, but yeah. This thing actually is broken. This is an iPhone 6. Um, This thing works pretty, this thing works, works pretty good. But anyway, this is an iPhone 7. Yeah, this thing works fine. This thing works great. That's on my iPhones. I don't have very many, I know. Then I got my iPods. This thing is an iPod 2nd Gen. This thing is an 8 gigabyte. Works fine. Otherwise, other than this crack. 
This is an another iPod second gen. I have two of these. Huh. This is a 16 gig, I think. No, this is an 8 gigabyte. It's a middle school one, as you can tell. This thing works fine, too. This is my personal one. This is an iPod 4th generation. This thing works perfectly fine. I've had it since 2016 or something. This is another iPod 4th uh, generation. That's just some guy's name and his phone number, so I just kind of covered that up. But yeah, I got some iPods with engravings on them. It's annoying. But yeah, this thing is an 8 gig. This thing is an 8 gigabyte. It works fine. And we got this, which is an iPod. This is an iPod 4, 32 gigabyte, and I think it's on iOS 4 or something. It's in a rare version of iOS, which is pretty cool. Then we got another iPod 4. This thing is an 8 gigabyte. It's in white, and it's in really good shape. Then we got another iPod 4. This thing is cracked, but it works. The only reason why I bought this is actually to unlock it through iTunes, so that was kind of cool. Same with this. This is an iPod 4. The only reason I bought it is to unlock it through iTunes. I got this iPod 5th generation in blue. This thing works, but the battery is really, really horrible. Like, it's really bad. And there's a dent right here in the back, if you can see that. This is an iPod 5th generation. It works fine. Then we got my, you know, not iPod Touches. This is an iPod Shuffle. This thing is a second generation. It works fine. This thing has a, but yeah, this thing has a bunch of songs on it. It's pretty cool. This thing is an iPod second generation. It's a Nano. This thing is a four gigabyte. I th either this one or this one is broken. I know one of these does not work. One of the blue ones. This is an iPod Nano. It is a uh, two gigabyte. It is silver. But yeah, this thing works fine. This is an iPod. This is an iPod Nano second gen four gigabyte. This thing, I don't know. I don't know if this is the working one or this one again. This is an iPod fifth generation. iPod Nano fifth generation. This thing is broken. This thing does not work. This is an iPod. This is an iPod Nano fourth generation in product red. It's pretty cool. It's an eight gigabyte. This is an iPod Nano fourth, gener fourth generation in blue. Or is that purple? I think it's. it might be purple. I don't know. But yeah, this thing does work. It's It works fine. This is an iPod Nano third generation. This is a four gigabyte. This thing works pretty great. Then last but not least, we have an iPod Nano sixth generation in this watch thing. Because I thought... I got this as a graduation gift for myself, and I thought I was going to wear it as a watch all the time, but I never did that because I don't like watches. But I always think that, oh, if I just get a smartwatch, I'll like them again, and I'll actually use them. Nope, I will not. So, yeah. I mean, I've always wanted a sixth generation, so that's cool, I guess. But yeah, now I'll go on to just my random phones in here, I guess. Okay, and this is... This is all of my other smartphones. These are just like the random brain ones or like, yeah, the ones that I don't have enough of to go in the, um, you know, when it like a drawer. Although I do have quite a bit of HTCs as you can see down here. But yeah. Okay. So first up, we got my, we got a Nokia... First up, we got um, one of my two Nokia Windows phones, some kind of Lumia. Next up, we got a Lumia, some kind of Lumia phone. That I only have two Windows phones because I don't really like Windows phones. They kind of suck. Actually, they really suck. I hate them, so I don't really have any. But yeah, um, one of them's on Verizon, and then the other one's on T-Mobile. This is an Acatel, this is some Acatel One Touch phone. That's it's. I think it's unlocked. 
Got it for like 10 bucks off eBay, which was a regret purchase. This is uh, some kind of Acatel phone. It's cracked. Um, I think it's on track phone. This is one of my blood. This is a Blackberry Bold. Um, this thing is a touch screen, so it, I think it's kind of more of a smartphone than a dumb phone, I guess. So I just put it with my smartphones. But yeah, this is a pretty nice phone. It's 1990. I like it quite a bit. Then we got this phone. I, I like this phone quite a bit. This is a Blackberry Classic. Um, this thing is unlocked. This thing is, it's in pretty rough shape, but it's a really nice phone. Then I got a Blackberry Storm. This thing is on Verizon. It, it works pretty good. Then we got a Pantech. We, uh, yeah, I only have three Blackberries. Then we got a Pantech Breakout. I used to have three of these. But now I think I only have one. But yeah, it works perfectly fine. Power button's right here, which is kind of weird. But it's fine. Then we got a Pantech, some kind of Pantech phone. The speakers are kind of up here. Kind of weird placement. But anyway, this is some kind of Pantech phone on AT&T. It's a pretty nice phone. And then we got um, some other Pantech phone, some Pantech slider phone. This is a pretty nice phone. It's on Verizon. I don't really know what any of these, these are, I guess. Some of them I do. This is a Pantech Pocket, which... I have unboxed this on my channel, so you know this phone already. But yeah, this is my Pantech Pocket. It's a pretty nice phone. It's a very weird shape, though. That's, like, the only reason I got it, because it's kind of just a weird shape. It's like a square. This is a T-Mobile Rebel 4. This thing works fine, except it's cracked, and it actually has, um, it has parental controls, so I can't really do anything on it, so it's basically useless. But it's kind of cool to have. This is a Nokia, this is some kind of Nokia phone. This thing's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this thing's pretty nice. This thing works perfectly fine. This thing is my Amazon Fire phone. Yes, I did get one. I think I might have unboxed it on my channel too. I don't remember. But yeah, this thing's pretty cool. This thing does work. I should get a case for it because the back is glass. But this thing's pretty cool. This is my Sharp, I think it's Aquos, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. But like, I think it's a Sharp, I think it's Aquos. But yeah, this is a cool phone, except it didn't really work. Like, it didn't really work at all. So, maybe I'll get a working one of these. But I think they're very expensive, so who knows. I mean, I boot it up, and then it brings up an error, and it just constantly does it. I can't do anything to stop it. It, won't, it literally will not let me do anything. The system just keeps crashing and it just won't let me do anything. So that thing's basically broken. But it's kind of but it's it's cool to have. This is a ANS phone or the Obama phone, which is what some people call it actually. That's kind of the entire reason I got this phone, honestly, and it's pretty funny, I thought. So I'm like that's pretty cool. Then I have this ZTE or the Sanyo Zio on Sprint. This is a pretty nice phone. It's the only Sanyo smartphone I have. It's a pretty nice Sanyo phone. It's pretty cool. Then I got this Sony Ericsson Xperia. This cute little phone. I kind of it's kind of a cool little phone, I guess. I don't know. Then I got this Huawei. Uh, it's like a made music from Cricket. It's a Huawei. I think it's like some Huawei Ascend. I don't know. I think I have two of them. I think I'm getting rid of my other one, actually. I don't know. But yeah, it's a pretty cool phone, I guess. And then I got my Huawei Ascend Y. I finally have one. I've been wanting one of these forever. My mom actually had one of these. It's on US Sailor. But yeah, this is a pretty cool phone. This thing works perfectly fine. This is a, this is Huawei Ascend. This is just a Huawei Ascend. This thing is pretty cool. This thing works pretty... This thing works good. It's on Cricket. No, it's on Metro, actually. Never mind. This thing is a Huawei phone. Huawei Glory on track phone. This thing works pretty cool. Works fine. This is a Kyocera Hydro. It works fine. But yeah. 
It feels super light, like there's nothing in it, but I'm pretty sure there's a battery in it, I think. This is a Kyocera Milo or something. This thing works pretty cool. Or Milio, I don't even know. I'm not even sure, actually, I don't remember. This is a Kyocera Hydro Life. This thing works fine. This is a Kyocera Hydro something. This thing works pretty fine on Virgin. It's on Virgin Mobile. This thing is a one of my Kyocera Hydro Airs. This works perfectly fine. It's on AT and T. This is actually my this was my sis, this was actually my sister's phone. But yeah, this is another one of those Kyocera Hydro Airs that does not have a back. It's on Metro and it's kind of. These phones are kind of pieces of garbage. So, yeah. This is a really nice phone. This is like a Kyocera Discover or something. It's a pretty... It's like a rugged phone. It's pretty cool. It works fine. This is my Google Pixel 3. This actually used to be my main phone. Um, I love this phone so much. Um, but, yeah. It, wor it still works perfectly fine. The case is still destroyed. It works great still. So yeah, then I have a Google Pixel 5. Um, this thing works pretty great. It's in the green color. This thing works great. And yeah, then, uh, well, I this thing is cracked, but other than that, it works fine. Then I have a Google Pixel 7. This thing is a my Google Pixel 7 in the sort of seafoam color. This thing works pretty great. Then I have a Google Pixel 6 in black. This thing is financed on T-Mobile, so I cannot unlock it or anything. Um, this thing is cracked, but other than that, it works fine. And then last but not least for my Pixels, this is my Google Pixel 2 XL. This thing works perfectly fine, except all the cracks down here. But yeah. Then we got onto my... This is my ZTEs. This is a big, this is, I don't even remember what this is, but it's some ZT phone. It's really nice. It's really big. I don't know what it is, though. I don't remember. This is a ZTE. I have no idea, but it's some kind of ZTE phone. It's pretty cool, I guess. This is some kind of ZTE phone that I have for some reason. It's pretty cool, I guess. I kind of said that about every phone that it's pretty cool. Anyway. This is a ZTE some phone. It works. This is some ZTE phone, a Metro PCS. It also works. This is some ZTE phone. This is a ZTE Majesty Pro on track phone. I bought it for 40 bucks when it was brand new. This thing works perfectly fine. This is uh, some ZTE phone on NEN Touch. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool. This is a ZTE Jasper, I think. Uh, it has a touch screen, or it has a screen protector. It has a glass screen protector, which I thought was hilarious. That's actually the only reason why I bought this phone, because I thought that the glass screen protector on this phone was hilarious. Then we got onto my HTC, which is my last of all my phones. We got HTC Hero, works perfectly fine. We got a HTC. Um, some HTC on Verizon works perfectly fine. We got um, some H another HTC. I think it's unlocked. Works perfectly fine. I don't remember what it is though. It just is HTC with sense down there. We got a HTC G1, which is actually the first Android smartphone. It would work, but I need a SIM card for it. It's on T-Mobile, obviously. Then we got an HTC G2. This thing's also on T-Mobile. The digitizer does not work on this one though but otherwise works. This thing is an HTC One M8. This is actually a really nice phone. I'm happy I have it. I've This is one of those phones that I've wanted for a super long time and now I have it, so I'm kind of happy about that. This is an HTC One M9. This is a pretty cool phone too. This is an HTC One M7. It's on Sprint. It's cracked, but other than that, it works fine. This is an HTC Desire on Cricut. I got it from a flea market. I kind of completely forgot I had this phone because I didn't think I've been on it like one time ever. This is an HTC E 
some kind of HTC phone. It's on AT&T. This is an HTC Thunderbolt. It has a kickstand. It's a pretty nice phone. This is an HTC... Um, I don't even remember. Evo 4G. On Sprint. And then last but not least... This is an HTC... Um, HTC Desire on USA Air. But that's that, and with that, that's my entire phone collection, or all my smartphones. I know that took a long time. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked, please like, subscribe, share, and all that other stuff. And yeah, guys, it's been me, TJ7903, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.